here we have two unipolar 200 step stepper motors and each of these stepper motors is attached to a L298N H-bridge and we have those hooked up to our Arduino Uno here and on the in one, two, three, and four of one stepper motor, we have it attached to pins four, five, six, seven on our Arduino, and the in one, two, three, four on the second H bridge is attached to pins eight, nine, 10, and 11. Now, the idea here would be to drive to the two stepper motors at the same time. Um, the power source is using an external power. We have we have nine volts, a nine volt uh, external power here, and we would ideally want to drive both of these steppers at the same time. But if you call this step function for your my stepper object um, under the uh, stepper library, what will happen is one of the steppers, the first one that's called will execute all of its steps before the other one starts stepping. So that's not what you want if you want to drive, say, a robot with two stepper motors driving um, driving the robot at the same time. So when you call the step function for each stepper object one after the other, what happens is you get this. One execute, then the other. So they're not, they don't go both at the same time. So what I did is I created a, a function that allows for each one to step in turn. So what you would do is have one step, one step, and then the other step, one step. And if you repeat that function over, you'll have them both working together. Okay, so here we have the stepper example, which is part of the examples library in the Arduino IDE. So that's under examples and then under stepper and this one is called stepper one revolution and here we are using the stepper library so that that's the standard stepper library um, we've got our steps per revolution set at 200 so that can change depending on what type of stepper motor you're using and we set up the stepper objects here so the only difference that I've put in here, I've created a sec second stepper object. So the stepper object that you create, the arguments for that would be the steps per revolution and then your pins that you're going to assign to drive that stepper. So I've got my two stepper objects there. And then in the setup section here, we set the speed of those steppers. So we're setting that speed using the set speed function from the standard stepper library and we're setting that to 60 rpm we're initializing our serial communication at 9600 board and then in the loop here um, we're calling a, um, the serial uh, print function to print clockwise to the serial monitor and then we're using the step function um, and calling that for each of our uh, stepper objects and the steps per revolution for each of those will be what we set up here which is 200 because there's 200 steps in one full revolution for these steppers so what actually happens here is that in this loop section here firstly clockwise will be printed to the serial monitor and then stepper 1 will step through 200 steps and then stepper 2 will step through 200 steps um, and then in this section here we'll do the opposite so we'll go counterclockwise now if you're wanting to run your two stepper motors simultaneously so run them both together then this setup here is not going to work for you because each of these will run the one first and then go to the second one so I looked for a solution for this online and there are quite a few different solutions but some of them are quite complicated so I set out to write my own um, and this is how I did it now this might not be the most efficient way to do it I'm not sure but it certainly is quite easy 
So here I have uh, included the stepper standard stepper library and up the top here I have defined my commands. So I've got my commands a d w and s and space bar for the stop command. And then I've got my steps per revolution set at 200 for each of my steppers. And then once again I set up the two stepper objects. So stepper 1, stepper 2 with the pins that I'm going to use to drive those two steppers. Uh, one different thing I have here is this variable here of the char type uh, which I have set to the value of the space. <coughs> and then I define each of the functions. So I've got forward, backwards, left and right. So in this forward step function here, uh, what it does is prints forward to the serial monitor and then we step one, uh, each of the steppers, one step each. <coughs> so for each of these functions, I'm only stepping one step. You could use the half step um, function for your stepper motors if you want to be a little bit more accurate, but for what I'm doing, one step is accurate enough. So all I'm doing is stepping one step each. So, and I'll show you what happens um, later on in the loop section. So we've got that for forward, backward, left, right, and then for stop. What we want to do for stop is um, not just to um, use zero steps or, or just stop the stepper from stepping. We want to actually power down the stepper drivers um, because if we don't power them down when this, um, this is stopped, then the power will be still live to those drivers and it will still be draining current and the chips on those drivers will be overheating. So we want to completely um, power them down. So by making this call here or setting the, the um, port D and port B to this value here, you can actually um, set the value of a range of pins to too low or high. So zero, 0 here will set them to low and a 1 will set them to high. So port D is for pins 0 to 7 and port B is for pins 8 to 13 on the Arduino. So that will both power both down both um, stepper drivers. In the setup section here we've got our <coughs> serial um, begin. So we're starting the serial um, communication at 9600 board and then we set our speed for each of the stepper motors. And then we come to the loop section here and in the loop section we are um, using this if, if statement to check the serial communication. If there is serial communication the data coming in will be set to this uh, variable of char type data and we will read that data and then use that variable in our switch statement here to set whichever command corresponds to the data coming in via, via the serial monitor. Um, <coughs> so we've got our each of our functions in here. So I step forward, back, left, right and stop and the number of steps um, at this point will be one one step each. Now you can change that, you can even use, um, if you wanted to set up so that each of those steppers runs a particular number of steps rather than um, continuous stepping, then you could, uh, in those each of those functions, you could put an, a, um, a for loop in there to run through so many steps. So that's one option that you have as well. Um, so at the end of that switch statement there, I what I do is I set the um, variable last call to whatever the last call was uh, coming from the serial, um, serial monitor. So the last call coming in via the serial communication um, gets set as the value for this last call. And what that does is actually just call that um, particular command over and over again. So if W was um, the call made via the serial communication, then it will execute this forward step 
um, function and then it will set the uh, value of last call to W and then it will then continue over because what happens if there's no other data coming into the uh, serial monitor I've got this else statement here and so if there's no serial data coming in then it uses the um, the char um, variable here data which in this case was the last call that we had so what happens is it will just continue to call that last call over and over again and the result will be that the stepper motors continue in whatever the last command was so if it was forward they'll continue going forward if it was backward they'll continue going backward until another call is made to the um, uh, via the serial monitor so let's have a look um, to see how um, this this runs so if we you can see immediately when we start serial communication we've got the um, the stop command running here because the um, variable last call has uh, has been initially uh, assigned the stop value and then if we type in a W we go forward and S go backward A is left and D is right and if I push the spacebar then we stop So here we can control both of the stepper motors at the same time with uh, key commands through our serial port. So forward, back, left, and right.